Venus, it's so bright. Really bright. Not only is it bright, it's really hot. The hottest planet in the solar system. The air in its atmosphere traps the heat. Wonder how Chester's doing. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's keeping busy. Looky, looky, looky. Yeah, Nash, that's where we live, Earth. It's so beautiful. My personal favorite. Me too. Me three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See you soon, Earth. We're coming up on Mars, the fourth planet from the sun. Oh, it's really red. But what's that white stuff? Those are polar ice caps, just like Earth. Hey, Chester. Oh, hi. Where are you guys now? We're just passing Jupiter. It's so big, it's hard to miss. It's the largest planet in the solar system. Did you know that Jupiter is 1,300 times bigger than Earth? Yeah, huge. And it's mostly gas, right? And it has lots of storms, too. There's one that's been going on for over 300 years. Whoa, that's a long time for bad weather. So, Chester, we're making really good time. We'll be there soon. Okay, see you in a bit. <sighs> Look, Nash, Saturn. Wings, pretty wings. Yeah, it has rings. Cool, aren't they? They're made of millions of ice crystals. Some of them are really teeny tiny, no bigger than a speck of dust. And some of them are enormous, big as a house. I'm dancing like nobody's watching, cause nobody's watching. Woohoo! Yeah. Ooh, ooh, bibble, bobble, boo, ooh, ooh. Passing planet number seven, Uranus. Rings, rings! Hey, it's got rings too. It's such a weird one. It spins on its side. Not too much farther to Pluto now. Chester must be ready for us to get there. Uh-huh. Yay, Neptune! The last planet in the solar system. Oh, sorry. I just really want my wish to come true for you all. You're my best friends. Audrey, what was it that flew past the ship? The object was an asteroid heading towards Earth. Earth? Gorby, that's great news. It is. Why? An asteroid's just a rock. A big, chunky rock floating through space. Like the ones in the asteroid belt, going around the sun between Mars and Jupiter. Yes. But when an asteroid reaches Earth and enters its atmosphere, it becomes a meteor. And then... What? Something cool? Tell us, Chester. We can't take the suspense. Take a look. Whoa, that meteor's bright. It looks like it's burning. That's because it is burning. When meteors enter the Earth's atmosphere, the friction of the air causes them to burn up and glow. It's actually on fire. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa, that is cool. I mean, that is hot. <laughs> oh, Marco, yeah. So that's what I saw in the sky. <gasps> I did see a shooting star. Only it wasn't a star. It was a meteor burning up. That's a big polo yes on that one, Garby. Hey, look! More asteroids. Lots more. What's happening? Sometimes only one asteroid falls into the Earth's atmosphere. Wow, not this time. When there's a lot, like this. That's a meteor shower. Whoa. Whoa. Lots of shooting stars. <gasps> My wish did come true. Now all of you can make a wish. I wish for us to have adventures this fun every day. I was just gonna wish for that popsicle I wanted, but 
Your wish is way better. I wish for that too. Me too. Same here. Me too, me too. Or we can have both. <gasps> yeah? Popsicles for everyone. Oh, <laughs> Yay! Thanks, Gorby. And we're back. Just in time for the media shower. Yay! Meteors! And popsicles! Wow! Delicious. Martians? Uh, Marco, there is no life on Mars that we know of yet. For real? Totally. Take a look. What don't you see? Is it snacks? I love snacks! Well, nothing green, no plants, and nothing blue. So, no oceans, and also probably no snacks. All plants and animals, big or small, on land or in the oceans, need water to live. And Mars doesn't have enough. So that's why Mars isn't blue and green like Earth. It doesn't have any oceans or plants on it. So it's just all red rocks and dirt? Pretty much. Oh, <gasps> cool. So let's get down there. Buckle up, Polos. We're landing on Mars. Ooh, floaty! That's because the gravity on Mars is less than half of what it is on Earth. Hey, Chester, if there's no life on Mars, then what's that? Huh? <gasps> oh, Twax! Twax! Lucky! You're right, Nash. They can't be footprints. Unless whoever made them has really long feet. <gasps> Why can everyone understand Nash but me? Oh, maybe they're trails left by snakes slithering along the ground, like this. <laughs> I know my vehicles, and these are definitely made by a vehicle. A Martian vehicle driven by a Martian creature. <gasps> <gasps> but there is no life on Mars that we know of yet. No water, remember? Then what made that? Come on, Polos, let's follow the track. Yeah! Whoa! Here we go, Polos! Following the tracks. Audrey, what's that up ahead? It is the tallest volcano in the solar system, called Olympus Mons. Whoa! Olympus Mons is ginormous! Stop! Look at that! Starting here, the tracks go all over the place. Whatever made them could have gone any direction. Let's get out there and try to see which way they went. Telescope! Telescope! Oh! are just big balls of ice and dust and rock until they get near the sun. Look, it's changing. Is it melting? It looks like the heat of the sun is setting it on fire. Because the sun's energy heats the comet's ice and gases, it's growing a long tail. Comet's dead! Wow. Willow, what do I do? Ah! You got this, Lily. The 
Remember the button I told you not to touch? Well, punch it! Punching it! 